According to the present day belief, the electrons in the atoms of a transparent medium are primarily responsible for transmission of light through that medium. The vibrating electromagnetic field of the incident photons induce motion in the electrons in the atoms of the medium to vibrate at the incident photon frequencies, which causes the electrons to recreate photons in the incident photon frequencies. Light is transmitted as the result of this kind of interaction of photons with the electrons and the recreation of photons within the medium. It is also believed that this kind of interaction between light and electrons is the reason for the slightly reduced speed of light in a medium. Here we consider the interaction between light and hydrogen gas. When a continuous spectrum of light impinges on hydrogen gas at an angle perpendicular to the hydrogen gas interface, which is at low temperature and low pressure, only photons with wavelengths present in the hydrogen line spectrum are absorbed, while the rest of the photons will pass in a straight line through the hydrogen gas at a speed slightly less than the speed of light. Photons with the same wavelength of the absorbed photons are emitted in different directions. As those photons with wavelengths matching the hydrogen line spectrum are incident on the hydrogen gas, the electron in each of the hydrogen atoms vibrates in free orientations. This is the reason why hydrogen gas emits emission lines in different directions. However, it may not be reasonable to think that the electrons in the hydrogen atoms which vibrate in free orientations and emit photons in different directions when they interact with one group of photons could vibrate in such a way that these vibrations could guide another group of photons through the hydrogen gas in a straight line as the electrons interact with them. If the continuous spectrum of light is incident on a high pressure hydrogen gas, more different wavelength photons will be absorbed and thus the number of different wavelength photons that pass straight through the hydrogen gas will be reduced. This indicates that, as pressure increases, more different wavelength photons interact with the electrons in the hydrogen atoms and only photons which do not interact with the electrons pass straight through the hydrogen gas. This also implies that electrons in the hydrogen atoms in fact have no role in the straight line transmission of light through the hydrogen gas. At the same time, it is also not reasonable to think that the nuclei of atoms of a medium, which are more massive and require more kinetic energy to vibrate, help the transmission of light through that medium. These facts indicate the presence of another state of matter in atoms, which acts as a transmission medium for light and influences the light speed. This matter is responsible for the refraction of light.